All right, YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to flash a light on drive, a 74850C. In other words, the 7000 series. So for this, I'm going to show you how to do it using the CK3 Pro and the CK3 Pro V2. So the first thing you're going to have to do is obviously this is some of your Xbox 360. If you don't know how to do that, look at my other video that I made then once you've disassembled it all you're gonna need is the drive and what you're gonna have to do is unscrew these four screws right here this one this one this one and this one so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll get back with you guys when I'm done alright so after you finish taking off the screws what you're gonna do is remember it's gonna be upside down just take off this little top Put this to the side. So the spot where we're going to be working with, or I should say on, is we're going to zoom in. You see this little top left hand corner right here? We're going to work on this area right here. Let's zoom in a little bit better. Oh, sh crap. Let me show you guys. right here where this little black thing is if you guys see right there where it says R707 we're gonna probe it with our CK3 Pro right on it so you guys can see it is this one right here down right there I'll put a diagram in the description just so you don't get lost or probe something else so the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your SATA cable and connect your power cable and also for the 7000 drives you're going to need a either a COM port cable or a a USB and you need a probe so the first thing you're gonna do is turn on your drive alright and your probe should turn on and turn the switch from MRA if it's on MRA it's gonna look like this turn it from MRA to the pro function and it should be like this and your off switch should be up if it's down, it should have nothing like this, but it should be up. And the LED on the standby button should be on. And we're going to try our first setting with the 20. 20. Right here. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Jungle Flash. Alright, so we're on the computer part right now. But you're gonna, I'll put a link in the description to download this right here. It's a raw folder with iExtreme in it so you can extract to desktop and there we have it we should end up with this folder right here it's going to be called light on iExtreme LT open that up and right here you should have all your iExtreme versions you're going to have your 7000, 8000, 8000 V2 and the 9000 and you're also going to have a folder with with the stock firmware on it which is necessary for the 7000 since you can't read the firmware off the 7000 you can only uh, extract the dummy.bin and some other uh, some other files so if you're going to want to restore it back you're definitely going to be needing these right here so we're going to exit out of that oh I forgot um, uh, you're gonna have to drag, drag and drop your folders or your files, I should say, onto Jungle Flasher, onto the firmware folder. I have everything organized right here. So I guess I'll also put a link in the description for Jungle Flasher. So the first thing we're gonna do is open Jungle Flasher, run it as an administrator. Oh, and also don't forget you have to be using a COM port cable or a USB for this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go ahead is go over to 
DVD 32 and check our COM port COM port 2 type USB now it should say right there your it should say your DVD type your drive type and I've actually flashed this drive before but I returned it back to stock just so I can show you guys how to flash it so once we're on DVD key 32 what you're gonna wanna do is go to your drive what you're gonna wanna do is eject the drive and then once it's open you're gonna wanna close it but before it closes full you're gonna wanna turn it off when it gets halfway through so I'll show you guys how this is done you're gonna open it should open we fix this right here. Alright, once it's open, you're gonna wanna close it. And but before it closes, you're gonna turn it off once it gets halfway through. Alright, like that. It's halfway through. Just gonna wait a couple of seconds, maybe four or five, then turn it back on. Alright, it should be like this. <coughs> now you're gonna head over to the little spot where we're gonna probe. This is where your CK3 probe comes into place. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. Don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that. But this is as close as I can get it without it starting to get blurry. So remember, have our switch on to probe. And notice on the LED how it turned a different color right there. If you're probing the right one, you should get a serial. Oh, and also, try not to touch with your probe this little grayish thing right here. So, when you probe it, for our 707, there we go. The op switch is in the up position, but if you put it down, the standby should turn off. So what you, I'm not even, I'm not gonna be able to show you this, but I'm gonna go ahead and take you to Jungle Flasher.